So in the entrepreneurship concentration, it spans over like three semesters while we're in the whole course of the bachelor's program. And it starts more in the seventh term when you start like developing your concept. We split up into five groups and there was everything from Mexican to Middle Eastern to um, burgers and Asian cuisine. So you get, you're separated in teams and you kind of pick a concept that you like and you develop it as much as you can. You create a whole, a whole business plan, a presentation. So you want to get a menu together, all your different finances, projections, things like that, and everything that you want to get together and present to the judges that are going to be picking the different concentrations. There's a lot of focus on uh, pitching an idea and being able to talk to a panel and making your pitches strong so that when you do have to pitch in a real world, that you have that experience. We believe our concept won because of the passion that we exuded during our presentation. It was more organized. We didn't have index cards, we just kind of spoke from our heart. And then once that was executed, we entered eighth term. You kind of all come together as a class and really form that concentration into what it, it eventually become in the last term. We started classes like marketing and how we'd create our logos and... Like menu development, um, recipe development, and coming up with as different many variations of recipes as possible. Working with the chef to get backup recipes, things may not work the way they planned, they may not sell the way that we wanted them to. The HR manual, we'll do scheduling, we'll do the labor calls. You get a lot of your micros work done, you get training on micros, standard operating procedures, all that. And really like build the restaurant from the ground up and really learn how to do each aspect of that from finance to menu to scheduling to all of the human resources stuff as well. It was interesting developing Leanna just because it is street food, it's modern Mexican street food. And in our team we did have four Mexican students, two originally from Mexico, one from California and I'm from New York City. It was interesting trying to pick what items we wanted to go and what items were too crazy, what items would be acceptable, whether it'd be spicy, whether it'd not be spicy. And then finally in the, in the ninth term, the last semester, you actually go ahead and open up the, the restaurant in the innovation station in the egg. When we do finally come down and open the restaurant, you come in and you look around to see how everything's set up. You get the flow of service down and uh, then you're pretty much open for your last semester until you graduate. We do a lot of um, analyzing the restaurant, seeing what goes on, looking into purchases, uh, payroll. Running it as smoothly as possible and kind of dealing with the bumps as they come and kind of getting a feel for what it's like opening a restaurant and running a restaurant and making a profit at the same time. Yeah, working with our classmates, it was really rough. We weren't as organized as we thought we would be and we were missing a lot of things, but um, I mean, we came together as a class. A good fact to kind of know before I get into the business will be the difference between entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship. We were told we would be able to run and operate our own concept and I think there's a lot more to it than we originally expected. Entrepreneurship kind of deals with more, you're within a bigger corporate company and they're kind of giving you the funding to kind of do what you want but you're still under their ruling and under their jurisdiction so you kind of have to follow along with what they're doing as opposed to entrepreneurship where you're totally on your own, you have to find the funding on your own and you kind of, you're, you're, you're your own boss. They tell you we're all managers, but you, you can't run a business like that, everyone. There's got to be hierarchy. There's got to be a flow. So with entrepreneurship, we kind of learn to deal with um, the, the corporate section that we're under and kind of deal with the bumps as they came with them and, and not being able to really make decisions on our own completely without having them approve it first and kind of figuring out how that whole situation kind of works.